Hey everybody, it's me, Dark Bomber. Welcome back to Lisa. Um, it's been a harrowing adventure so far. Holy heck! Yeah, I'll, I'll come back this way. And I'll, don't worry, don't worry. We'll hopefully get to that in this video. I kind of want to check out those caves I skipped out on. Where my boy Bloodbag here decided to bleed all over me. And there's nothing I can do to avoid that, so... You know. Oh, okay. That was a waste of my time. Great. I love that this game has fall damage. That just makes me feel... Great. Alright. The world can be saved. Find her. Sass effect. Scared. Stops you in your tracks. Weary, reduces defense. Weird, reduces stun. stun. Crying, rage, increases heal. Berserk, makes you go berserk. Piss makes you go berserk. Drunk, strong, slow, and dumb. Hangover, reduces everything. Stink, makes people avoid you. Cool, regenerates HP. Depression, makes life suck. Oh, yeah, does. Does. Oil up, makes you flammable. Withdrawal, hurts you a lot. Joy, makes it, joy makes it all better. He's full of holes. Hmm. Let's see, I wonder what's up here. Oh, sweet chickens. What's up, chicken man? Dude. Oh, dude, come on, man. I, dude, I just, I, I ain't a part of this. I just. All right, fine, asshole. I'm not some fucking pervert. All right, let's do this. Sweet. Yeah, fuck you, guy. Yeah, you thought you was ambush me? That ain't happening. All right. Let's find out what's going on in here. Okay. Okay. Alright, there's a door here. This guy's asleep. Let's wake him up so he can get his ass kicked. considered uh, the greatest historian of our time. I gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many tales. Yes, I would like to hear. Why not? Hmm. I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh well, I will tell you anyway. Let's see. All right. It all starts with what I like to call The Flash. He's a dope superhero. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemonade tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe she bought it from a store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet tea lemonade and then transfer its contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from a bottle? I guess maybe so she could put it in a glass of ice? But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming if not more. A sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemonade tea. From a glass, of course. <laughs> when suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. Oh. My. God. So I looked down and realized this is a little rock underneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. 
dude, you need to, like, get to the point. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. <laughs> I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Wait, is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now, my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknick, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknick Platberger? Yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I thought you said you didn't have a wife. Whatever. I'd say she was about six, a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. Hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawl, 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 crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't feel inadequate enough. Not only did I have to complete, not only did I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay. yi at this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a, of minor in the woods. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big old flash of light. That's about it. If I ever get the chance to kill you, dude, I'm totally gonna do it. I can tell by the way you're walking. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. You really want to hear another story? I'll tell you. Once upon a time on a hot number summer night, sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store was selling really good eggs in July. I don't really know why. Do chickens operate better in the heat? Fireworks, maybe? Oh my God, dude. I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs were that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I was thinking she was just an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forks Night. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow. <laughs> So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul. I just didn't want any annoyance to think I would associate. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of the fork knights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch! A real tongue lashing. I, I don't, I really, I could go on all day and listen to this guy's stories. This is not happening. It's not happening. Anything in here? Oh, great, there's nothing here. I, I pray he just dies. Well, let's... Let's just continue on, shall we? Ow! Oh, great. Great. My dumbass. Oh, no. Funny seeing you here. What? Are you following me or something? Oh! Anyway. I often wonder what... Oh, my God, dude. Shut up! I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ageless. Sometimes days last ages and nights rarely come. And those clouds, so strange. What happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a really nuky day at the doctor's office. Kooky, that's kooky. Nuky? Uh, kooky. I think it's kooky. I'm a fucking retard. 
I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Now, normally I don't indulge in the adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's got some young, she's got some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that Sheila, Sheila, Chili, Chilio, I don't know. The words are kind of caught up, cut off at the edge. It sucks. Either way. That chilla can really grasp my attention. So, I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman, but as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there's some water damage. Do you think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office? You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet ski, his cool jet ski, jet skis? I guess that's jet skis. I guess he cares more about his cool jet skis than his patient's comfort. I am, like, partially dyslexic. I'm sorry if I'm, like, reading like a retard at times. And his assumably big house with a hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. Can I... And just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. It started at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kind of socks. Golly. I'm all revved up after those thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got so many a tale to tell. Oh my god. Oh, annoying man. Can I at least give you this equipment? He has a gun. Uh, does he get does the, does the gun need bullets? Like, I guess not. Well, listen to him. I got him in my party, so... Whatever. Let's just get going. Here's a bar. Bars. You can often find people for hiring bars. If you see a pink poster, you can access your party information when you want to swap party members in and out. Bars are great places. Chug, lug, and carry. What's your deal, man? I have a little interest in Scandalous Magazine. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all this world has to offer anymore. Buy him a drink. I don't have enough to buy him a drink. Being drunk in battle will increase your strength, but decrease your hit drink. Uh, your hit. Yeah. All in all, getting drunk rules. I don't have any money, man. I got robbed. You got a couple mags for me? I would love to have this man, but I don't have any money. Alright, so it looks like I can... Okay. Okay, so it looks like I can change my party around and shit. If I really want to. Weird. All right, so a guy doesn't shut up. Everyone's looking for my freaking daughter. Bunch of assholes. Wish I found a place to save. All right. Well, this one kind of went on a little long, so I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.